YouTube users, me Dr. Ron CMD. You haven't seen me in a while because I've not been about for a while. So apologies for any of you regular users or viewers of my channel, shall we say. Um, I discovered something interesting today for you programmers out there. I am creating some 2D platform games. Yes, like a remake of Mario, yes. And um, I use a program called Blitz Max, which is a basic uh, programming IDE, which was first introduced, I think, with Amiga Basic. I think it's where it derived from. So it's been released for the PC. It was made by Blitz Research, something or other, and a guy named Mark Silby, I think, was the face of the company. Now, the company has gone bust for quite a few years now, but I've been running with the latest version that was released up to that point which is that 1.26 copyright blitz research limited and blitzbasic.com does not exist anymore they, they they've they've uh, gone down but i'm um, searching on github for a specific problem i had to do with my code and i discovered there's a new version but doesn't look like it was made by the original people. Looks like it's been remade or adapted because they released the source code for the IDE. So this is 1.5. What it says? Yeah, 1.56. And what did I say the other one was? 1.56, which is the new one. 1.26 is the old one. So brilliant. So I'll be having a look at this soon and anyone that's interested or still use basic as a programming language or if you're looking to start out in programming basic is the uh, language to start it's quite fluent self um, you know you can understand the code a lot more than say Java or C sharp or some other language it's a little bit more understandable if you come to sort of you know use programming languages and it gives you like a, a first step into programming. You get used to like loops and um, statements and variables and all that kind of stuff, memory um, allocations and all that kind of jazz. And you can pick it up pretty quickly if you're interested. So if you are, head to this website, download, I think I did the 64-bit version um, of the IDE and it has, I think it has samples and stuff. Let's have a look, the original one did. Let's see. And I say it's not an installer, it's literally the files as they are. So if we go to tutorials and articles, and on the right hand side here, you've got the, the sort of where to find stuff. Oh, it looks like the original stuff that was in the previous one as well. So let's just load one for for example, if it works, because my code is having trouble working. Oh, it does work. And you can do 2D and 3D stuff with this particular language. So I close that. Let's go to Breakout. Everyone knows what Breakout is. Ah, you see, it's starting to get errors. So there are some problems with some of the code. Uh, let's do another 2D thing. Starfield Pong? Shouldn't be too difficult. E oh, there we go, it works. Yeah, so it allows you to create you know, 2D and 3D games mainly, but you can use GUI stuff. There are libraries and stuff you can still get where you can uh, incorporate the, uh, using the Windows APIs to create Windows and stuff, so GUI apps as well as console apps and if you look at the code I mean this one's quite difficult to look at uh, fireworks snow let's see if this one runs hold breath yeah so something simple like snow for example you know the code is there for you to have a look at and see how it runs so very useful and I thought I'd share that with you guys so if you found it useful please let me know in the comments below and i'll put the description and stuff in the links down below as well so take care guys see you in the next one i'll be posting some more videos very soon
please comment, link and subscribe.